Hello guys and welcome back to Pam's Harvest Craft. As you can see, I have been busy, busy, busy kind of filling in some of these extra spaces that are kind of, I guess, a bit boring to like watch on camera. I haven't finished that yet, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> but I have kind of finished up the alleyway back here and made sure that there's lots and lots of lighting. I had to stay up at night to check it, which was a little bit scary, but like it's looking pretty good. Now, as you can see over here, I've done a lot, quite a lot of work actually on the side of this building since last time. Um, um, I've tried to make it look as if like the person who lives here kind of is quite eccentric I guess so this is a these are actually figs and this is a really cool thing I found out actually because I grabbed my silk touch pick and you go up to any of these like Pam Harvestcraft fruits it actually works with shears as well but you can actually not not pick them exactly but you get like this like 3D version and you can actually just like whack that on any tree that you like. So I went out into the swamp. Unfortunately, it does that when you put it back on. <laughs> I went out into the swamp and I got myself a couple of these are figs, I believe. Let's pick one and find out. Yeah, these are figs and I believe these ones are dates. And the reason I did that is because I kind of thought the dates looked a little bit like wisteria, which is a beautiful kind of hanging purple flower. So I made this kind of look like, I think it's, there's like a name for this where the tree is like spread out and pressed up against a wall. I think it's called Esplade. I don't know, I always get it wrong. <laughs> but I wanted to make it look like they had this tree that had been forced to grow against the wall and is producing kind of exotic fruit, you know, as if this person had got like a clipping and been like, ah, yeah, we can grow that here. So <laughs> that's kind of where this is going. And I added this little hit thing here because it kind of filled in this gap. You probably also noticed, let's grab ourselves a horsey horsey. Come with me. Oh, we're stuck in here. I hope not. Uh, can we get out of here without me hitting my head? Probably not. Let's try that again. You'll do. Right, so you'll probably notice as well, guys, that I've made this kind of little entrance way here, and that's because I thought, actually, we need a way to get out on horses. So there's two pressure plates there. I can get through there fine, and then you just have to open these, and you can come out like that. And obviously the door's closed behind you, so nothing can kind of get in if you forget to close those, but it just means that if anything does kind of follow me, or if there's any creepers waiting out here, like, they don't, can't actually, like, come into the city. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Let's put our horsey back where he belongs. Lovely, lovely. Might name those guys today. And uh, this is here because I'm planning on building a wagon at some point, but we'll get to that eventually. The actual focus of today's episode is I've spent a bit of time in creative designing the building that I got, want to go here. Now, it, obviously you can see it's like a few different sections because what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna have this building here, which is gonna connect to this building here by a bridge that goes over the middle, which is something I've seen in some older towns where they've kind of had like an alleyway. And I guess they've kind of joined two properties with like a cool kind of bridge. So there'll be like a little kind of like, I don't know, arched kind of alleyway that you can walk down here. This is gonna be like a different house, obviously signified by the fact that it's a different color. And this back here, it, this is gonna be a shop, but then the upstairs is gonna be connected to this, which is actually going to be like a little tea shop, like a little kind of cafe that sells tea, coffee and cakes. Now, we all know, we all know my track record when it comes to recording building. So I have decided that I'm going to mostly be building on camera today so you guys can join me in with that. I've taken some screen caps of what I was getting on with in creative. So I'm gonna keep checking those and uh, we're, we're gonna build this together guys. So it's kind of a weird one because I wanted there to be a bit of clearance space here so that it's not like completely blocking the view of this house. So like from this angle, you can still see like the whole thing. There's not like a sharp corner here. And that does mean that we're gonna have to put some windows here. Now, I'm not sure, I think it's one window that's here. And then there's like this that goes up at the side. Yeah, I think that's right. And then like this, like this. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is whether I'm gonna have enough bricks. Cause I thought what would be quite nice is to have this uh, this is granite. I always forget. Yeah, that's granite at the bottom there. And then put some bricks up at the top. Now I've been using this. I've been filling in the item frames as well. So it looks a bit more inviting in here. I always use this as like my furnaces. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, I put some away in the chest. I keep having to like put stuff away now that I have like a chest storage. So I think, yep, yeah, all clay stuff is in here. Excelente. I'll have all of this. I'll have that. And this I should be able to turn into bricks as well, excelente. So the idea is that this is all gonna be brick like this. And then over the entrance way there, I would like to have, this is what the stone cutter is for. Actually, I'm gonna bring the stone cutter over just to make my life a little bit easier. Let's like whack it right out the front here. So we're ready to use it. Let's stick that in there. No, no, not you, not you, not you. I wanted some polished granite. I'm gonna get two of those. Uh, no, actually, let's get some more. I'm always, I always need more. 
Uh, and that's going to have that there is going to be the doorway. And I believe that the front kind of went oopsie, like this. And then that there is going to be also an upside down one of these. Now, I actually want to have stripped spruce for this. So let's see what that looks like. I'll show you guys. Because I actually think that the stripped spruce looks really nice next to the brick. Yeah, I think that's going to look really cool, actually. So I'm going to finish off the base here and get a bit of glass. And then I'll show you what I had planned for the interior. This is what we're looking like so far. Um, what's going to be different about this build, actually, compared to my others, is it's going to be quite jungle wood heavy, um, which I think is quite nice, actually. I kind of like to tie everything together by using like a lot of spruce, but then having some buildings that have something that's like a little bit different about them. So we've still got, you know, like the brick is kind of intermixed around, and the, the building at the back there is going to have a lot of the features of some of these buildings. But I wanted to have something that would be a bit more noticeable, and uh, I'm just going to eat this big. <laughs> nom nom nom. Now, uh, this bit here was probably the most complicated. The roof on this is going to be quite tricky to do, but I think we'll manage to figure that out. And you can see that I've mixed in a little bit of oak wood as well. I thought what we would do next, whilst my computer fan is having a good old, having a good old warm up, um, is to do the internal stairs so that I don't have to keep using scaffolding to get up here. I'm actually going to use full blocks. I don't normally like to use full blocks um, when it comes to stairs, especially. Um, because it like is a bit of a waste of resources. Right, we're gonna need to stick another one on top of there. But in the case of this, it means that I can use some of the stripped jungle logs to kind of add a bit of interest in certain places. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do as we get up here. And I might design this a little bit differently to how I did in creative. I had it kind of coming off in two directions, but I actually might end the staircase here instead I might just change this design a little bit to how I had it before. So what I'm going to do instead is have this stair here. So we just go straight up like this and then um, we need full blocks. I'm going to need to grow another jungle tree actually. That might be a good idea. <laughs> so we've got enough blocks. Yeah, so there's like a floor here. And I might have to use half slabs actually just to just for this bit here so that you don't whack your head as you're coming down. Can I get them all the way across? No, no, I absolutely can't because I won't be able to go up there. Yeah, that's gonna smack me in the head. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna think about that actually because I did have something at the back here. I suppose it could still be here actually if we did it like above there. I'll have a think about that and see if I still want to, but I'm also gonna need lots of spruce, which is good because I've just planted all those spruce trees over there. So I think I'm gonna cut them down and then I'm gonna fill in all of these no. <laughs> with the stripped spruce. Oopsie, hello. <laughs> this is what it's like actually building with me. It's like fall down here, place torch here, everything go wrong. So it's looking a bit weird at the moment because I haven't stripped the wood yet. But one thing I realized as I was going on that is I, I miscalculated where the floor is upstairs, which is really good because it actually goes up one higher, which means that I can actually fill this in and do kind of the thing that I wanted. Now I'm actually going to have, I know this is going to sound strange because I use it as a lot of the outside features, but the inside furniture, if you like, is going to be in the spruce wood. And uh, it actually does look quite nice uh, in the one that I built in creative. Obviously you guys can't see that yet, but eventually you will do. I'm going to strip these and what I'm going to work on next is the bay windows, which is what's going to really set this place off, you know, make it look really good. So there's going to be one at the side here above the one that's down there. Let's just grab some scaffolding because I don't trust myself to jump and place glass. <laughs> it's just, just all around not a great experience. So three. And then at the front here, we're going to have a really nice um, bay window. Now, this is going to be quite interesting to place because I need to put some upside down stairs under it. So I think what we'll do is we'll put some temporary blocks and it's going to be too high like this. I think that's correct. Let's just go down and have a look at it. Is that how I did it before? 
yeah, it wasn't right at all. What I realized I'd done is I'd put the seat in the wrong place, which pushed the, the window in a little bit. So if we go back upstairs, you can actually see that the, the seat is supposed to be in the bay window. And luckily I have a silk touch pick, which means we can do this again. <laughs> there we go. And that's really cool. I love the look of that. Like I love a little inset window. There's a place at a cafe I used to go to that had like a really cool little bay window and it was like a super old place. I'm surprised it didn't actually fall down. It was that old, <laughs> but that's what I want. I want this to be really cute, really quaint and that's kind of the look that we're going for so i've started to work on the bridge kind of joining the middle bit up and it's quite an interesting design unfortunately it means that this is going to have to go eventually because i'm going to put lanterns inside here and that's the reason why i've decided to use full brocks as the middle so it kind of arches up and then has like a little dip down so these go all the way across and then it's going to have full blocks um, inside here like this so that you also have this kind of interesting kind of divot here that's like kind of textured I just quite like the look of that because I was trying to figure out a way to do it so that you could have furniture like on top so I couldn't use like half slabs and it, it looked kind of strange with this sticking down but like that it's not too bad now I could do with a crafting table down here actually I just couldn't be bothered to keep going into the other place to get it let's uh, just put one whack one down here yeah so we need some more jungle wood and we mostly need some stairs I'm gonna need lots of this actually because I'm gonna use it on like quite a few of the buildings so the stairs goes up here where the oak log is like that I've just put a dirt placeholder up there at the moment and uh, then that is finished off I might as well use these actually and all we do is we'll just double them up rather than waste them there we go now my idea was this is interesting because I think one, two, three, four, yeah, it's actually an even number, which is unusual for me. Um, but I think we're gonna have the lantern there. And if we just uh, commandeer this one, <laughs> we can stick that in there. And I, I think that's not too bad, actually. It's not too low for me. Like you can still walk under it, you just can't jump. <laughs> you'll smack your head. So don't jump down alleyways in my, in my city, otherwise you will, you'll hurt yourself. Up here it's starting to look really nice now that the building is kind of taking shape. We've now got this little bridge and this is actually what it looks like from above. So you have this kind of little brick walkway and I, I made sure that this back wall here was brick as well. So it's got that kind of hipster, we stripped away the blaster vibe to it. And uh, I'm gonna have a couple of little tables that sit by the window here. So there's people, you know, who, who pay a premium to you know to sit there and enjoy a nice view this is quite an upmarket upscale <laughs> cafe i've also added this little railing which i think is quite nice so these are actually on this block here and the one at the back there is on that block so i can probably put a bush back there and i decided to make this little area here so this is where the staff would come and make the tea and i think i don't have any cobblestone on me but i'm gonna put a furnace there and then probably some item frames with kind of like the items of the day or like the maybe one here as well like with like the cake of the day as i go around uh, the tricky part Part that I've come to now is starting to get the roof into place so we're going to go for the polished granite stairs to line it and then the grey wool and it's going to be quite a flat roof because I'm going to add a lot of bushes and things and something special that's go in the middle there which you'll see very soon but I'm just going to see if I can figure out how I did the roof there's a lot of backwards and forwards -ing that's going to be a little bit complicated but I'll see if I can uh, start working that out now Oh yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting for it to look pretty ugly <laughs> before it looks good. So I, I'm kind of getting rid of a lot of this dirt scaffolding and uh, I might not bother licking at what I did in creative because sometimes it's nice to just kind of go with the flow and think, well, actually, this is kind of what's working for me at the moment. Um, I think I'm just kind of thinking about what to fill in above the glass because it seems to me like I could get away with maybe some half not half slabs, but stair slabs or something like that just to fill in. This wall here is spruce, so maybe it does need spruce up there. And let's see, um, I do think I want that to go all the way up because I think that will look good. And that needs to happen over here as well. I will strip these in a second, don't be, don't be fretting. <laughs> and it's just thinking about what to fill that in. I think I might even have just filled it in with wool you know, when I did it, but maybe we want to go a bit different. Maybe we want, maybe we want to fill it in like this. Then again, like that looks okay like that, I think. It's just this bit here that's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe, that's a maybe. 
This one definitely, I think, needs to have spruce or something there. Let's, let's see what the grey wool looks like, actually. If we fill that in with grey wool, what does that actually look like? It looks terrible. <laughs> okay, guys, since this clip and last clip, it's actually been a day, because I wanted to spend some time just making sure this was right. And also, I ran out of brick. <laughs> so I had to go and get some more from the swamp. It's pretty lucky that I live near a swamp, actually, because it's a great resource for, like, all of this clay. Uh, so I can just keep going to get it. So let's combine all of that to make a few little bricky bricks. There we go. So now we can start filling in some of the places that I haven't been able to do. Now what's interesting about this build is not only does it have this kind of alleyway going down the middle here, which um, is obviously a work in progress, it also has um, a balcony at the back. So I'm not going to fill that in. That is actually going to be like a little terrace balcony so that people can come out and enjoy the sunshine. Now I'm gonna fill... Let me see, I'm going to do some interesting things with the windows, but I just want to make sure that this upper floor is done and then I can work on this lower one. I'm going to put a line of bricks here just to make it look a little bit sturdier from the top. Now I'm going to leave that for now because I need to remind myself of what the windows look like. Oh, and I also stuck some sand in the furnace because I need more glass as well. Again, really useful to live near huge bodies of water because <laughs> I can just go and grab it whenever I want. Now, I'm going to need a door because I want this terrace. You know, you don't want people sitting on your terrace and getting cold in the winter. So you want to have like a nice little door so that you can shut that occasionally. So let's go and have a look what it looks like upstairs. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this bit yet, but this is where the, the tea and the coffee is going to be for sale for people who just want to take it home and make their own. And then when you come up here, it's going to have a red theme. Now, uh, I was a bit stuck because I want to have like a bed in every building. So I end up like working on things and then having to run over and sleep when the sun goes down. And I was actually watching a, a Wells Knight video recently. He's just started doing kind of videos again. And he did this kind of thing with beds as like couches, which I thought was a great idea. If you guys haven't seen Wells Knight, like I highly recommend his videos. But yeah, so let's have a look. So I want to have two pieces of glass like this and then we're gonna stick the door let's have it on the outside there we go now i'm gonna think about what i'm gonna put at the top here this has been a bit of a dilemma actually because uh if we go through here i wasn't sure about having loads and loads of this dark spruce wood here because it kind of blends in a little bit so i'm going to think about maybe if i have enough bricks actually just filling this in with bricks we've got quite a lot of brick walls the other thing we need to do is actually continue this roof line wow i have not done the roof on this back bit at all <laughs> right i'm gonna fill that in guys and then we will take a look at it so I realized the issue was that in my creative world, the roof was actually like one lower. So if we come on the inside, I'd filled this in with two bricks, but actually it comes down like that. And I think what I might do is just whack maybe two of them in there just to kind of finish. Yeah, make that look a little bit more supported there. I might even have that all the way across, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now I have something special in mind for this little bit here. So we need the crafting table. And I am going to make myself... Oh, do you know what? I've put it away. <laughs> this is the problem with me building. I get so easily distracted that I actually like used my coal for something else. But what I want to do... Where is it? It should... Yeah, I can make that. Okay, so I should have one... Oh, only one. Why only one? Five. That's what we want. There we go. Uh, I'm probably not going to use all of those actually, I just need to make sure I've got one of these on me. And we're going to get right up on the roof for this to work, so let's find a good position. And up we go! Really hope this doesn't set the building on fire. <laughs> uh, right, I don't want it facing that way. Oh, I, did I bring my silk touch pick with me? Yes I did. I think you can pick these up with the silk touch pick, let's just find out. This is where we find out we can't. Oh, you can. Amazing. Right, I want them facing. Yeah, that's it. This way. Excellent. Good. And I'm going to leave one uh, not filled in. Oh gosh, this is going to get rid of everything that I've done inside here. Let's jump down and see if that's ruined anything. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, no. <laughs> There's definitely going to be a torch missing down here. Let's put that back in. <laughs> right. Now, the plan is I'm going to get some leaves and I'm going to have some of them actually coming down into the building as if this is kind of like an open air section. Um, so I think that that is going to look nice. But what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I am going to finish this off because I've been working on this for two days now and then we will have a tour of it finished. 
Okay, guys, this probably isn't the best angle to have started the tour from, but uh, whatever. Now, you can see that I haven't finished this building over here because I'm going to leave that for another episode. I'm not actually sure what I want to use this building for and this lower part for, but um, you guys can give me some suggestions and see what you think. I ended up changing the balcony so that there was a bit of stripped wood across there instead of the brick because it just looked a bit weird to have the brick all the way up, especially because we've kind of come down one. Now, one of the things that I ended up working on, I spent a lot of time on this was this pathway and originally this bit here was the same height as these but I took them down one and actually that kind of solves the problem of these being a bit low so you now have the pathway dipping down and I really like the look of that I think this is just looking great guys one of the things I love about it is if you come out here this is now looking like a proper little street how cool is that and you can just see the chest storage at the end there oh my, I'm so happy with this just just that addition of this one two-ish buildings has really like made this come to life now if we go inside um, I still need one of the big problems that I have is that I don't have enough item frames to kind of put things in and I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to do like an industrial cow farm but I may end up having to do it just because I need so many item frames but I have filled in with paintings carpets as well stop the spawning from happening and up here it is looking fantastically green so we've got paintings everywhere lots of potted plants lots of greenery lots coming out from this central area here kind of dipping through you can actually see that come straight through it kind of grows over the ceiling like ivy i've got some barrels with more of it on to look kind of like giant flower pots i really like the red and the green together actually there's something really nice about red and green that just goes really well i decided to do a really hipster gallery wall at the back here as well and i think that kind of solves the problem of the spruce it just kind of breaks up the color a little bit don't ever forget about your paintings guys paintings are really good in minecraft and they really help to like break up a wall i do love these as tables as well actually especially because you can walk through them which is quite funny Let's go and have a look at the sunset, shall we then, guys? And that, as we say, guys, is all we've got time for. Now, I had a lovely suggestion from one of my viewers about what we should name the horses, which was Didum, uh, I think which was for one of the donkeys, and Heidi. And I want you all to be amused as I struggle to remember how to spell Heidi and name our lovely horses. I'll catch you in the next episode, guys. And as always, you can give me any suggestions you like and we will add them to the town.